when a police officer noticed a dog sniffing, he ran towards some luggage and signaled that there was something of interest inside. The police officers sprang into action and were astonished by what they found when the box was finally opened. Beirut's Rafiq Hariri International Airport is the only operational commercial airport in Lebanon. As such, it can get extremely busy, with people traveling to various destinations around the world. Every day, they witness a countless number of passengers passing through the terminals, along with an absurd amount of baggage. The transport of cargo and parcels is conducted to every imaginable country. So you can imagine the utmost importance of security at the airport. For this reason, they have police officers patrolling the building, as well as a private security team monitoring all activities. However, there is a relatively unknown group of heroes working at the airport, the police sniffer dogs. These dogs have undergone rigorous training to detect suspicious packages or luggage that may contain prohibited items such as illicit substances or illegal money. They have learned how to correctly identify a bag and what to do when they encounter something suspicious. The accompanying police officers understand their cues, and when a sniffer dog points its nose directly at an item of luggage or a person while remaining completely still, they know that a thorough inspection is necessary. It is a simple yet tested and proven system. As the dog walked through the airport, it didn't attract much attention, as everyone knew it had a job to do. Despite being adorable, people avoided stopping and petting it, as it could disrupt its important task. Most would just smile in passing at the handler as they moved on. However, suddenly, the dog started indicating that it had detected something in one of the boxes that had already been checked in, and was passing through the airport on its way to the next destination. The police officer checked the shipping label and saw that the package was being transported from Ukraine to Beirut. Apparently, it had arrived several days earlier and was just awaiting transfer at the airport. The sniffer dog remained seated, staring intently at the box. The police officer had no doubt that his animal had discovered something highly unusual and likely illegal. It was extremely rare for a sniffer dog to mistakenly identify something, and he had never known his dog to mistakenly choose a person or item of luggage. The handler signaled that the dog could approach, and at that moment, the dog leaped onto the box. The box itself was quite large, measuring approximately 3 meters by 1 meter. Visually, it appeared similar to any other box passing through the airport, not raising any red flags in terms of appearance. The only noticeable difference the police officer could observe was the presence of several barely perceptible holes along the length of the box. The dog immediately noticed them and placed its snout directly into one, sniffing attentively. As it sniffed, it emitted a low growl, which was definitely not a typical response. After all, the sniffer dog had years of experience, and wine was not part of its repertoire of reactions. It was clear that there was something in that box that interested it more than the usual contraband items. The handler furrowed his brow as he examined the box from top to bottom, pondering what to do next. Other police officers and airport staff began gathering around the box now. Together, the police officers carefully lifted the box off the ground and placed it on a table for examination. They were fully aware that there could be some kind of explosive inside it, and any sudden movement could trigger it. The team handled the situation with utmost caution, being extremely careful when handling the box. Once it was placed on the table, they called in the bomb squad. It was a standard practice for the package to be scanned and checked before proceeding with any further action. The chances of the box containing explosives were very slim since they would undoubtedly have been detected during the check-in and screening at the Ukrainian airport. However, they were not willing to take any risks. Everyone cleared the room, except for the sniffer dog, who seemed eager to get back into action. There were electrical components inside the box, which was a great relief. However, the question still persisted about what was really inside it, and what had attracted the sniffer dog to it among all the boxes in the building. After a discussion, they decided to open the box slowly and carefully. As soon as the box was opened and they took a look inside, 
all the officers were absolutely stunned by what they saw. Over the years, dealing with this job, they had seen many things like drugs, money, and smuggled explosives in all shapes and sizes. However, what they found inside the box they had never seen before. There were three tiger cubs huddled in the sawdust. They were incredibly small and appeared very thin and weak. It was evident that they were suffering and had been trapped in that box for a long time. It was no wonder the sniffer dog had made such an effort to lead them back. The cubs were scared and silently huddled together, clearly shaken by the light and the new people peering into the dirty box. It was unknown how long they had been in the box, but it was apparent that it had been a while, as there were feces everywhere and the sawdust seemed soaked with urine. Parasites and worms were crawling around the box. It was truly a wonder that no one had noticed that foul-smelling box earlier, as the odor, once opened, was quite unbearable. Animal protection services were called, and they soon arrived at the scene to rescue the three tiger cubs. They were taken to a sanctuary where they received all the necessary medical care and attention they needed. Although it initially seemed like the poor animals wouldn't survive their traumatic ordeal, it was nothing short of a miracle that they all managed to recover. The tigers were two females and one male, named Maya, Tanya, and Anton, respectively. They were sent to live in a sanctuary that could truly take care of their needs and treat them as they deserved. Fortunately, they were also kept together and not separated. As for their origin, the police discovered that the tiger cubs had been sold by a zoo in Ukraine. They were part of a litter of twelve cubs, and while it was a relief that these three had survived, it was never uncovered what happened to their siblings, who were sent to other destinations. The zoo director was arrested, charged, and sentenced to a long prison term. All of this was thanks to a police sniffer dog, who was just doing its job, and ended up being rewarded with many pets. Now, what do you think of this incredible story? Have you ever seen police sniffer dogs going about their business? How would you have reacted upon finding these poor tiger cubs in the luggage? As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. Be sure to leave them in the comments section below.